Two very commonly used terms in programming are variables and objects. A variable is basically a slot or a location where we can store different kinds of data. You could think of it as like a mailbox that you can put data into. So down below, I've shown an example of a variable that I've called basket. And here I'm showing how you create that variable in code. But here's a diagram basically of, what, of how we can imagine this variable to be. So it's a, it is a single thing that we call basket, but it has a number of slots. And variables can represent different kinds of things. So when I say kinds of things, I'm talking about classes. A class is essentially an abstract category of things. So for example, if I say car, we have a very uh, abstract idea of what a car is, something with windows, something maybe with four wheels, maybe it has an, um, an engine of some kind. An object is actually a particular instance or individual of a class. So we could be talking about a particular car like the car that I drive or a Toyota Prius or a particular Volkswagen Beetle. Um, so those are objects that are members of a class. In programming, when we talk about classes and objects, a class is essentially a category of data structure. So the list that we saw before is a, an idea of a particular kind of data structure. And then we can have particular instances or objects of that data structure. So down below, you can see three different lists that I've created. And each of them are the same type of thing, a list, but they hold different kinds of things and have different numbers of items. There are actually technical distinctions between a variable and a named object, but for our purposes right now, we're just going to use them interchangeably. There's actually some more information on the web page if you want to explore this more.